Colts. Let's talk about how the Indianapolis Colts quarterback, Anthony Richardson, tapped himself out saying that he was tired. He was tired. So if you guys have not heard this yet, late in the third quarter, and uh, no, let me let me let me take take back. Picture this. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You are the starting quarterback of a NFL team. You are down by 10 points. You are driving late in the third quarter. You make a hell of a scramble. You scramble to, to your left. There's a brick wall there. You kind of dribble down your pants a little bit, and you roll out, and you run to the right, and you gain about 15 yards on that particular play. You stand up, and you tap your head. You, you tap your head because you're tired. Because you're tired. You are tired and you need a break. So guys, way or no way, should the Indianapolis Colts bench Anthony Richardson for the rest of the season after this pulling of the stunt, saying that he's tired, right? So Anthony Richardson, guys, has had a questionable start to his NFL career. Let's flash back to 2023 rookie year. He goes down week three with a seizing ending shoulder issue. Insert Gardner Minshew. The Colts missed the playoffs because of a drop pass by Trey Sherman. This year, so far this, this season, uh, he has over 800 yards passing, four touchdowns, and seven interceptions. Sunday versus the Houston Texans, he went 10 for 32 for 132 yards. He did have one touchdown to one interception. Since week two, Anthony Richardson has not thrown over 180 yards in a game. And now he is checking himself out of the game when the team needs him the most. When I first saw him check it out, check himself out, I thought he was injured. The like the man is made of glass. I thought he was he was injured. But later in the post game, he said he was checked himself out because he was tired. And he was kind of smirking about it. Like, he was like, you know, I was just tired. <laughs> first things first, man. If, if, if you're tired, don't tell us. You're a damn professional athlete. You should not be getting tired after a 15-yard yard scramble. I'm just saying. But, guys, way or no way should Anthony Richardson be benched for the rest of the season? Should the Colts bench Anthony Richardson for the rest of the season for being tired? Guys, this is a way. This is the way. This goes beyond being tired. This goes beyond of the ability not being there. This goes beyond of him, his smirking in the post-game interview saying, yeah, I was just tired. When you admit something like that in public to reporters, to the media, you damn near lost everybody on the team. As a quarterback, everybody looks up to you to be the leader, to be the guy. You have linemen that are literally killing themselves every play for you. Insert the Chargers uh, lineman that nailed that running back or the uh, defensive lineman rolling up on uh, Justin Herbert's leg. They will literally kill for you. They are out there each and every play giving 115% dog-ass tired, and you tap yourself out because being a little tired. AR-12 lost the locker room with that statement. AR-12 lost his team with that statement. Anthony Richardson is just not the guy. We've been saying it for a few weeks now. Ever since Joe Flacco started, insert Joe Flacco in the Pittsburgh Steelers game, come back and won that game. I've said it. Mark said it. Many people have like, 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 like have said it. Flack around and find out. Joe Flacco is better for this team anyways. People play better for Joe for Joe Flacco. They will literally lay their lives on the line for Joe Flacco, and Joe Flacco is not going to check himself out because he's tired. There is a reason why quarterbacks never really ever come out of the game unless they're injured. It's because there is so much information going through the quarterback. The Catons, the checks, the reads, the like the uh, plays, even a bad quarterback, it is hard to replace. But you are in the red zone trying to score down by 10 points. 
versus a great Houston, Texas team, that score could have potentially catapulted you to great. I don't, I don't, it it could have done something. Dig deep. Suck it up. Figure yourself out. Anthony Richardson should not even be done this season. Benched. Put him on the freaking practice squad for, for all I care. But his career in Indianapolis is, is probably done. Me as a coach, if a player comes to me, taps himself self out, yeah, I'm tired. Like, I get it. You are tired. But you, my freaking quarterback, it is not like you're running every freaking play. You step back there, you take a little step. Like, come on. Guys, way or no way should, should Anthony Richardson be benched? I said AR-12, it should be AR-5. Should Anthony Richardson be benched for the rest of the, of the season? I'm, I'm saying way. I am saying way. James Frank says start Joe Flacco. Flack around and find out, right? Exactly. Flack around and find out. Start Joe Flacco. JDT993 says, I said it last week, Detroit, Detroit still can't stop the pass. Look what Calvin Ridley did to the DBs in Detroit. A little bit of pass rush. A little bit of pass rush. Derek says, I like the extra time. Me too, Derek. We, 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 we actually got to talk a lot about the Dallas Cowboys. I actually cut some stuff, stuff out and got to talk to the Dallas Cowboys. John says, you bought a jersey because of pride. What the hell are you even talk, talking about? <laughs> John says, or Laura says, I like always look for the show daily. Thank you for that, Richard. Uh, Laura. James says, Anthony Richardson isn't the one. At this point, he's not looking like it. Not looking like he is the one at all. Come on, dog. Come on. John People says, if Flacco starts, they make the playoffs. And John, you are spot on. If Flacco plays, starts last week versus the Texans, they probably win that game. C.J. Stroud and the Houston Texans got a tough schedule, and it's kind of wearing on them. The sophomore slump is, is a real deal. They needed that win, and they couldn't, couldn't get it. And Laura says, sure, if it helps the Vikings win on Sunday night. Uh, Derek says, this is his rookie year. It is his is it is his rookie year in theory, right? He got hurt, what, third or fourth game into last, his true rookie season. But that is no excuse, Derek. That is no, no excuse for making bad reads. That is no excuse to literally be in one-dimensional, right? When he rolls to the right, he will pass the ball. When he scrambles to, to the left, he will run. There literally is no excuse at this point. You are week, eight weeks into the NFL season. You should not be getting tired. Your conditioning should be there at this particular point. This tells me he has not, he did not take offseason seriously. He has not taken practice seriously. He is not taking his health seriously. It shows me that he is not a professional athlete. John says, wait. If they want to win, he's on the bicycle the whole time. James says, you don't see Joe Flacco, who is way older than him, because he's tired. Let Richardson go split some bars in the booth. <laughs> split those bars in, in, the, in, like in the booth. All right, guys, so way or no way is Anthony Richardson's season over? Is it over? Is it over? Is it over? Is it over? 